Today, I am going to explain a movie called A Secret. Miranda Wells lives in New Orleans and runs her boyfriend Tucker's restaurant. She is a widow with three children and a lot of debt after her husband's death. One day, news warns that a hurricane is approaching the coast, so townspeople in New Orleans begin to actively prepare for the influx of elements. At the same time, Bray Johnson checks into the hotel and asks for a room overlooking to the waterfront. Some time later, man goes to Miranda's house to give her a large yellow envelope, but meets only her son Greg, who says that his mother will be home in two hours. Meanwhile, Miranda, after talking on the phone with her mother-in-law, picks up her daughters from school. Missy tells her mother that she wants to buy food in the cafeteria instead of carrying it with her, and also sadly tells that her classmate is having a party on the same day as her, and food trucks are planned there and on her birthday she won't even be able to get a gift, a long-awaited computer. Bess also argues with her mother about their financial situation and woman accidentally knocks into a gray car. Bray Johnson gets out of the car and instead arguing claims offers a woman to fix a broken bumper so that she does not spend insurance. Miranda is embarrassed, but in the end she still agrees and invites him to her home. On the way, Bray realizes that he is going to the same woman who was not found in the morning, however, upon arrival. Bray did not decide to give her the envelope. Woman introduces her children to the guest. Greg is very surprised to think at what under circumstances Bray appear to hear again, but does not show it and, at the request of the man, goes to the barn for a screwdriver and mounting foam. While man fixing the mission's car finds information on the internet that their guest is a professor and teaches at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in Nashville. The work is coming to an end and suddenly a strong hurricane begins. Miranda calls her son and Bray to the house where she asks the man what brought him to their land. It suddenly turns out that Miranda put a packaged chicken in the microwave and it melted. Missy taunts that the poor Fords were left without dinner, after which family grabs the ladles and substitutes them under the streams of water flowing from the ceiling. Bray takes a magnet and shows how he, with the help of an invisible force, attracts objects to himself, explaining that more a person thinks about something, the more it attracts. Greg jokes that he is just now thinking about pizza, and the rest of the children agree with this and tell what kind of pizza they like. Immediately after that, a courier knocks on the door and brings those same pizzas, explaining that a certain Tucker ordered them. Bray is about to leave, but Greg tells his mother that she is actually culprit of the accident and should now invite guests to stay for dinner. At the table, Miranda talks about her work, and Bray tells the children that it is thanks to their mother and her friend that they are now eating delicious pizza. After they see off the guest, man tells Miranda that he wanted to say something to her, but everything was not time at this moment. A screech of children is heard from the room who saw the spider and Bray silently leaves the house. He writes some message on a yellow envelope and puts it in the mailbox. At night, the hurricane gains strength as a result of which a piece of wood breaks through the rotten roof of the house. Family sleeps in the bathroom. In the morning, Bray decides to drive past Miranda's house and notices that mailbox along with all its contents was blown away by a hurricane. Miranda goes outside and sadly says that something terrible has been happening to her all her life and asks what he is doing here. He replies that he stopped by to make sure that everything is fine and that he always thinks about what he wants, after which life gets better. Seeing how Miranda no longer believes in anything, he offers to help her fix the house. Wonen grins saying that this requires a lot of money, but Bray suddenly names the amount just $500 and says it's going to take a little improvisation. At home, Missy is assured that they will arrange her party anyway, because 16 turns only once in a lifetime. Bobby's grandmother's car pulls up to the house. Bobby insists that family come to her until everything in the house is dry and Miranda agrees. Then she comes up to Bray and says that she is very grateful to him for the hope, but still prefers to raise children as realists and talks about her husband, Matt, who died five years ago. Bray, left alone, notices a family photo and remembers how he met a young and promising inventor, Matt Wells, at a conference on modern technologies in Las Vegas. Suddenly, man receives a call from his house and girl asks what Miranda said when opened the envelope. Man replies that he didn't have time to say anything to her and envelope was blown away by a hurricane. And now he wonders what the universe wanted to hint to him with all this. Soon, Tucker drives up to the Wells family home and meets Bray, who jokingly introduces himself to him as a temporary roofer. They talk about Miranda whom Tucker has been dating for two years. Grandma Bobby pours puzzles on the table for sad children and asks Miranda to think about selling house. In the evening, Bray calls Miranda and reports that he fixed roof. Woman replies that she is very glad, but she understands that soon she will have to sell his house. From this, her heart shrinks. Man advises not to sell house. Miranda asks Bobby to take them back home. The children admire that now they will have a makeshift window in the roof. Bray says that a piece of plastic was lying in the reeds and he accidentally found it. After all, God always preserves anonymity when helps a people. 
Miranda gives him a check for $500, and he says that fate brought them together by chance because it's a gift to meet such a strong woman. At a restaurant that evening, Tucker publicly proposed to Miranda, an embarrassed woman reluctantly accepts, upsetting her children. However, they wish her happiness and agree to go home with grandmother for their mother and Tucker to celebrate their engagement. In the morning, a man gives his fancy a new car, and she drives home in it to get ready for her daughter's party. At home, Bray notices that Greg is freaking out and throws out some box from the bar. A man finds the boy on the pier and says that he should not be sad, after which he asks what was in the box. It turns out that Greg's unsuccessful invention and automatic chicken fear is in the box. Boy made it to sell, because then his family would have money and his mother would not have to marry Tucker, whom she does not love. Bray makes a couple of changes and feeder starts working after he tells Greg that his father just wanted them to be happy. Missy brings lemonade to the man and he asks what she is worried about. Girl replies that the coolest girl in school is having a party on the same day as her and since she will have food trucks, all they will go there. Man says that true friends will be here tomorrow with their friend. And that day, Missy should offer to the guests what does her happy. Girl remembers that she was happy as a child when they made her mother's favorite toffee with the whole family, after which she tells Miranda that she knows what they will do at the birthday party. Bray tells Miranda that it's time for him to leave. Woman excitedly replies that she has already forgotten what it means to be happy. So even now, she is not sure that everything what is happening in her life will lead to something good. In response, Bray again tries to say something. But this time he fails because Miranda interrupts him with an invitation to Missy's birthday party. The receptionist brings Bray the papers he ordered to replace the ones in the yellow envelope that the hurricane took. Bray asks girl for a new envelope and a pen. On the day of the party, everything goes as Missy wanted, except that Tucker brought a big cake with a photo of their new family, and then stated that he hopes that Miranda will become a mother again. At this time, Miranda is called by her mother-in-law and shows an article in the newspaper that Bray has recently patented his invention. Bobby says it's a project her son, which he took care of shortly before his death and accuses Bray of stealing. Miranda runs out into the street and yells at Bray, saying that he deceived her and stole her husband's development. Bray finally says what he had been planning for a long time. He tells that with Matt they met at a conference in Las Vegas, he developed a process water treatment system, and Matt had a cool sensor together. They developed a complete power system, which they were going to patent. Miranda asks man where he was when her husband died in a plane crash, and Bray replies that he was sitting in that plane next to Matt, and that he is the man who then survived thanks to a miracle that changed his future life. Now he brought her a patent for the invention of her husband, but he could not say anything about it, because when he saw her and realized how strong she was, he decided to show how you can change your life. Wona does not believe Bray and through tears saying him go away, man leaves in the morning, Miranda is delivered a yellow envelope in which there is a patent for the invention of Matt and Bray, and a check for payment $160,000, which was just enough to cover all family debts. Greg, seeing the envelope, tells his mother that Bray originally came to her in order to give this envelope. Miranda picking up children and says that she is very proud of their father and perhaps this was only the first check. She admits that before agreeing to Tucker's invitation, she should have discussed it with them, to which Greg replies that the main thing is what she wants herself. Suddenly, Miranda invites everyone who for laptop for Missy. On the way home, the children catch their mailbox from the swamp and Miranda reads the inscription Bray left on the yellow envelope. The man writes that he was acquainted with Matt and is very sorry that he did not tell about it right away. After the woman takes out the same patent from the envelope and understands that Bray did not lie to her. In the evening, Bray takes telephone to dial Miranda's number, but suddenly changes his mind, and at this time Missy, looking at the sunroof, tells her mother that without Bray there would be no toffees for her birthday, and in general the world with him became brighter. After that, she invites her mother to call the man, because with him mom was always positive. The next day, Miranda still didn't call Bray, after which she comes to Tucker and returns him the ring and car keys. Miranda tells Bobby that Bray pointed her son co-owner of the patent, although two years after his death he improved it himself and adds that she left Tucker because she does not love him. Now Miranda wants to go to nursing school like always she dreamed of and therefore goes for the weekend to find a suitable college. In fact, a woman arrives at Bray's house, however, some girl meets her on the threshold and says that he is not at home. Frustrated, Miranda introduces herself and asks her to tell Bray that she stopped by, what a girl suddenly begins to emotionally tell that her brother was only talking about her all this time, and now he must have already gone to her house. On the way back, Miranda and Bray call up and joke about how everything turned out. It's funny. After the man invites girl to enter his university, and Miranda invites him to a cafe. At the cafe door, the lovers kiss for the first time, after which the very moment comes when Miranda needed to sell her old house with a calm heart. The family is preparing to celebrate Christmas already in their new home, and baby Bess receives as a gift a living pony which she has always dreamed of. And here movie ends. Thank you for watching and see you on the channel.